French bread pizza on the grill. Today is going to be amazing. I've got all off the shelf from the grocery store components. Not a thing here was homemade because we're keeping it simple. Um, I've got a nice loaf of this uh, French bread here. It's, a, it's kind of a wide one. I like this better than the, uh, the long ones because it slices up, makes a really nice pizza. And we're going for crispy, all right? And not only that, we're gonna make garlic bread and then top the pizza. So it's gonna be just super scrumptious. Um, keeping it simple, I've got some mozzarella that I got sliced from the deli counter. And I've got some pepperoni here. So some good quality pepperoni already pre-sliced. Easy peasy. Um, all right, so we wanna make garlic bread. So to get that started, what I'm gonna do is I've got four tablespoons of butter in my skillet and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna toss this over onto the, the grill to let it melt. So while that's working, we're gonna slice our bread. Just wanna eyeball it and try to get it right in the middle. and we're going completely through. You want a good serrated knife for this to get right through it. Easy as can be. In preparation for our garlic bread mixture, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're gonna just kinda press it down the best we can. Get it nice and flattened out. All right, and it's been a hot minute or two. Let's take a look at our butter. Oh yeah, she's ready. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna paint this up. Now, got some nice butter on there. Gonna give it a little sprinkle, sprinkle, garlic. It's always fun on a windy day. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get these right onto the grill to toast. Now that grills up to about 500 degrees. I've got the rightmost burners on completely. The left two are off. A lot of people ask me, John, John, why do you have such a big grill? That's exactly why. I love to be able to cook on my grill and really use it as an oven with indirect heat. So it's really easy for me to power down a couple of the burners, keep the other ones on, and I get that nice uh, convective heat. So we'll be able to brown off um, our bread and then we'll, uh, we'll Pop it. All right, I could smell them. They got to be done. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. See, what's great about this is it's toasted, so our sauce shouldn't sog right into that bread. Let's get a little sauce on there. It is seriously snowing. Cool. All right. Moosh our sauce in. And a little sprinkle, sprinkle of Italian seasoning. Gives it that little extra pop. All right. I'll lay in our mots. And I specifically got the slicing kind because it lays down nice and flat. 
and it doesn't just fall all over the edge because cheese inside your grill is not good because you can't eat it that way. This is literally insane. It was not supposed to snow or rain or do anything today. Crazy. Oh, pepperoni down. Pepperoni down. We're losing Ronies. We're losing Ronies. Jeez, a loo. All right. Before any more pepperonis pop off, let's get these beauties in. And this time on the indirect side. We're gonna give those about four minutes or so. Well, holy shit, that came out of no place. I mean, it's still snowing, but the wind was so insane that it actually flamed out the grill. Um, looking at it, I'm like, why isn't this pizza cooking? And I'm watching the temperature go down. So sure enough, flamed out. Um, it's still windy, but let's uh, hope that you guys could hear this. They're almost done. They're looking pretty good. Just waiting for them to melt just a little bit and that pepperoni starting to cup up. Oh, so nice. I gotta wipe everything down. I don't want my pizza soggy. I'll tell you what, it is done. I just checked. Let's pull those babies off. One pizza. Two pizzas. Now, what I love about these pizza is the crispness. Let's see. It's a super crisp. Um, the cheese is browned up nice. Not crazy. I don't want to burnt. I'm gonna slice off a little guy here as a taster. I can't believe the pepperoni literally blew off the pizzas, but. Mm. You know that crunch? That's what I love about this. And that toasted garlic, you know, the garlic bread. I mean, let's face it, this is basically cheesy garlic bread with pizza sauce on it. Um, and pepperoni, you put whatever toppings you want on there. I like the pepperoni, keep it simple, and it lays nice and flat. But this is just, it's so good. Good comfort food, easy to make. You could do a bunch of these for a crowd. Really, next time you have an outing, super simple. People could top them the way they like them. You don't have to worry about uh, stretching dough or any of that good stuff. Um, although, I don't mind doing that either. Hey, hope you like what you saw here today. Give us a thumbs up, put something down in the comments. We'd love to hear from you and get out there and cook.